pogs, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna have a really fucking hard time not laughing. Fuck, um, uh, sorry. Uh, have any of you guys just been scrolling through TikTok and see seeing one of these, like, animation story time videos? Because I, <laughs> I, I, I saw one today and I was like, oh shit, that's, that's a good video idea. I'm gonna do that. And to be honest, <laughs> this one's pretty funny. So definitely drop a like, subscribe if you like my content, put on notifications and comment down below, notification gangs. And uh, yeah, uh, cue the intro. <laughs> I lured my neighbor into my plans. You have a bait. <laughs> Bro, who just like straight up fucks their neighbor to have a baby? Does this girl not have anybody, like any friends to talk about her poor as life decisions? I'm desperate to be a mom. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Naturally, if my parents found out, they'd be furious. No fucking shit. But it's my life, not theirs. Yeah, I'm young, but it doesn't mean I wouldn't be an awesome mom. Of course, to have a baby, there's obviously one important factor I need first. A partner. However, I haven't had a boyfriend, so the first step is to find one. <laughs> who, uh, uh, who the fuck just, like, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, is like, yeah, uh, I want to have a baby. This girl's personality drier than dog treats, bro. 17 and you're telling me you haven't had one boyfriend? This girl's probably the horse girl that you meet in like third grade. <laughs> Flat earthers have a bigger IQ than this girl, I swear to God. And of course, it can't just be any guy. I long to have a cute little girl with sun blonde hair and a shining smile. <laughs> she does realize it's a 50-50 chance that it's a, it's a girl or a boy, right? I feel like if I showed this video to my bus driver, she'd fucking spaz out and drive off the side of the road. Bro, I hope she dreams that she gets this perfect daughter, and then when she gives birth, it's just a fucking piece of shit. She probably would be like, oh man, that Taco Bell really got to me. I feel as if... When her parents gave birth to her, they wanted to throw her at the fucking wall. <laughs> there was probably a dent in her head. She was so fucking stupid. I imagine braiding her hair with colorful ribbons and dressing her in pretty princess dresses and glittery fairy wings. Imagine how fucked she would be if it's a guy. That's so wonderful. Therefore, I need a partner who has fair hair, a straight nose, and crystal blue eyes. I considered all the potentials I know. There's my friend Gordy. Well, he has a great sense of humor and is a math genius. However, he's kind of... He just threw a soccer ball on his head. They just ripped. We're, we're gonna, like, walk by that one. <laughs> Dull. And his hair is mousy brown. Ew. Brown. Definitely wasn't at one point everyone's hair color in existence. <laughs> I swear to God, this girl's tripping on psychedelics, bro. <sighs> then there's Jack the cute but quiet boy from next door. But no, he's a bit weird, and my little girl can't be like this. Look at the guy's face. <laughs> Is that really how you're gonna look at your daughter if she's kind of weird? What? One day at school, I walked past the music room. Someone was playing the saxophone, and it was so good. I peered through the window, and to my surprise, I saw that it was this super hot senior boy called Matthew. After that, I decided Matthew would be my baby's father. I must be tripping balls because I want to hit my head against a fucking stall. She just takes one look at person and says, Alright, yeah, we're gonna have babies. This be the type of girl who would be like, Yeah, Star Wars is sexist. All I needed to do now was put my flirting skills into action. As she just whips out the Fortnite tack SMG. <laughs> I'm a good looking girl, and I have a curvy body that the boys go crazy for. I know for a fact that you've already heard this joke, but it applies here because it's 100% true. If I were to climb this girl's ego and jump into her IQ, I would die from Fortnite fall damage. So it was easy to slide up alongside Matthew and start chatting with him. My plan worked, and he asked me on a date. After a few weeks of dating, I decided it was time to carry out the next stage of my pregnancy plan. So knowing that my parents were both out, I invited Matthew over to my house. What the fuck? Things got steamy pretty quickly, but just before the final step could happen, he pulled a condom out of his pocket. You mean like a normal fucking person? 
I mean, this is some straight up sweet home Alabama shit right here, dude. Or fucking Florida. I swear to God, that is like the one. If there if there's a simulation on Earth, it is that place. I saw a Florida man crash into a yacht the other day and then continuously crashing into other yachts. I told him we didn't need it, but he said he wasn't doing anything without it. Upset, I accidentally blurted out, How am I meant to have a baby now? He looked horrified, so I tried explaining to him that I wasn't trying to, tra to trap him. Matthew told me I was crazy. Then he left. Turns out that Matthew told his friends what I did. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> this shit is so predictable. Like, I don't understand these characters. Where some of the people in these stories would be the type of people who would swallow a freaking paperclip for $5. But I would never give up my pregnancy plan. My parents' close friend passed away, which meant they had to go out of town for a few days. They asked my Uncle Tom to check in on me. Tom wasn't actually my uncle. Yep, she's gonna fuck him. Bro, her life must be drier than a nun's vagaga because if your only goal in life is to fucking have children, mm-mm. Instead, he was a good friend of my parents and also our neighbor. Tom was nearly 40 and a single father to his seven-year-old son. I didn't talk to Tom all that much, but I had to say that he was sort of handsome in an older guy kind of way. <laughs> Stop! Tom acted as an excellent caregiver. He always asked me whether I needed any help and reminded me to lock all the doors before going to bed. That morning, my oven bust. <laughs> That's a fucking toaster. That's a fucking toaster. You just called your toaster an oven. <laughs> so I had to call Tom over. Okay, so in his tank top, I could make out that he had a six pack. He was pretty hot for an older guy. He's, he's your dad's age. You're 17. Day, I got home from school and tiredly went to the bathroom to shower. Thinking, only me in my house, I wrapped the towel around me and went downstairs for a drink. I was really startled when I saw Tom standing in my kitchen, awkwardly looking at me. One, um, <laughs> why is he awkwardly looking at you? Two, how did you not notice this guy just standing in your kitchen, fixing your fucking microwave, by the way? Turns out, he was there to fix my oven, as I'd previously told him how I couldn't survive without it. Suddenly, my towel slipped down. <laughs> I'm gonna end it right here because it gets a little too freaky. But anyways, guys, I hope you didn't. I hope you enjoy. Hope, hoped you enjoyed. Uh, sorry, I can't talk today. Like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe because eighty-one percent of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So yeah, make sure you are. Comment down below something funny to get a shout out in the next video, like this guy. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video, brother.